Well, hi folks, I'm just going to have a go at making some, um, we call them rip edge bowls. Basically it's where you make a bowl and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to tear some pieces out of the edge of the bowl to make a bit of a different uh, design to it. So we'll just get the basic bowl first, nothing fancy. just over a pound of clay, for those of you who like to know. I'm going to try two different ones I think. Right, so I want to make a bit of a rim on it, just a bit of a flat bit at the end, so I've got something to actually tear off. So that's just a basic bowl, and now, in fact, I'll just make that a little bit wider because I'll do I'll do a different one where it's a bit upturned for the next one. Just to. Bottom. Right, so as the name suggests, ripped edge vase, vase, sorry, a bowl. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to tear pieces out of the out of the rim. I find that using those two fingers can be a bit can be better actually. Now it can be quite messy, so have a bit of a sponge on hand to clean your fingers. So simply, just go in a little bit and just pinch like so going all the way around. It's quite a random design. And every now and again you might want to clean your fingers because you can get quite messy. That couldn't be easier. You're not actually tearing much off, you're just really squeezing a bit out and then you do tear a little bit of clay off. It couldn't be easier really. Just get a really weird sort of really sharp spiky effect on the rim. So like I say, just keep going round. And then when you just when you just about get to the starting finish point. Just judge it so the uh, so they match up okay, and that's that. So, like I say, it's just a different. Get it in closer. You can see the sort of effect you get. It's like a really sharp, a bit like a cog effect. But it is different, and it's dead easy to do. So that's that one. I'll just try a different one. I'll try one with a more of an upturned rim. Get me back on. I'll try and take some uh, sort of bigger chunks out of this one. See if it, see what it looks like. Instead of this being a having a sort of flared rim rolled over, I'm just going to leave it upright like that and see what this looks like. Because I've never not usually make many of these. It's just odd times you just get bored and try something. So I'll try it as more of a 
an upturned rimmed bowl and see what that looks like. Might be a failure, might not work, but you don't know until you try. So like, like I say again, just I'll try and make this a little bit bigger this time, just pinch a bit more clay out and actually tear a bit more off. Just to get a bit messy, sticky. Oop. <laughs> Even doing it this way, it, uh, it does pull pull the rim out and over. So I think it's actually better to do it with smaller pinches because this gets a bit. This one's looking to be a bit uh, a bit uneven. But like I say, it's all practice. I won't do this sort again, but we'll just have a see what it looks like at the end. And again, just coming round to the end, just sort of match them in. A little bit there and a little one there. So that's that one. It's a bit similar. There's a few odd bits I don't like, really. I'll just show you that one. So that's that one, with slightly bigger rips in it, tears in it. And a different shape ball, but to be honest, there's not much in it. But I think I prefer the one there on my right. So that's it folks, just a couple of different ideas for you to try. You don't have to do it on a bowl, you could do it on the rim of a vase if you liked anything. No rules, just try anything you fancy. But it's a different idea, different technique, something new to try. So that's about it folks.